strange creatures such as ogres and something else as well. Dawnstar seems to be taking care of herself. Let's take down some ogres. Not a super big deal. Zoo's got it covered. We'll be having none of your power attacks. Thank you very much. This way has collapsed. That's the way that Gao was going to exit. Now there's only the exit that we came in from. Another trap, which I don't really care that much about. You can get essence gems that make you immune to traps or make them use less focus, but it's not a huge deal, to be perfectly honest. There's another ogre here. Just take him down super fast. He's been cooking something. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a pig. Now we have to go up this way, where we have a new enemy. I never had cause to enter these caves. Gao will have to pay for this inconvenience. <laughs> pay for the inconvenience. This is a toad demon. They're, they're kind of tough, actually. They can poison you as well. Ow. Being sloppy. If you're having... Oh. There he goes. Very sloppy. And we gain the style Toad Demon. This is a transformation style. This lets you actually turn into a Toad Demon while you're using it. So I think that's automatically assigned itself. No, it hasn't. I'm not going to map that at all because I never use transformation styles. I just, I'm just not a fan, to be perfectly honest. I don't think there's anything around here. Oh, there is. Bones. 82 silver. <laughs> nice. Here's Gao and Dawnstar. I swear, Dawnstar, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? Did you think you could get away with this? It seems Gao doesn't think much about anything. <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. Being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fools! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have is gone. My father has seen to that. That doesn't sound good. What are you talking about? You'll see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master in his real name. Dawnstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. What have you done? You'll see. You've already lost no matter what happens here. You'll see. I'll make you see. That doesn't sound good at all. Now we have a choice. We have to fight him, even if you choose this option. But you can choose to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, or you can fight with Dawnstar or Zoo. I'm just going to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Good. There's no Master Lee to restrict how I fight. I'll kill you in time to see the red sky over your village. Thousand cuts. We had a frowny face, but you don't get closed fists for choosing that option. So another boss fight with Gao. He fights the same as before. He can still slow you, but now he's using Dire Flame as well. And even though we are trying to kill him this time, you still can't harmonic combo him. You can't harmonic combo any boss. 
I'm slowed, which is a pain in the ass. Speed this up a little bit. And we're back. No, you don't. Let's see if he uses his AoE with this style. It's not a great ability, to be honest. There we go. Just wanted to show it. He stands still and the big dragon comes out and fires fire in front of him, but very, very easy to avoid. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I'm not sure why Gao thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me, although I suspected it would be you. Of course. I wouldn't let anything happen to you. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gao so jealous. I don't know. Probably. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacious Su, you don't owe me anything. I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacious Su, well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gao meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? Yes, I don't like the sound of that at all. We should probably head back to the village. Agreed. I want Master Lee to know that we are both safe. It's too bad, though. He wanted to reach Gao. I'm sure of it. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. Mm-hmm. And now he's dead. Now we have the choice to either leave altogether. You don't want to choose this option because there are things to pick up in here. If you choose this, it will just teleport you out of the cave and you won't be able to come back in. I'm going to switch to having Dawnstar with me. I will wait by Gao's flyer. He can't object now. We receive gentle persuasion. What is this? We've got three more gems, actually. That's intimidation plus five, and body and spirit plus one. I don't use intimidation at all, so that's a bit useless. We've got an increased chance of health power-ups and body minus one, so that's pretty shit. I never use these ones. Spirit plus one. I'm just going to go with that. We can have another one, so I guess I'll have that as well. Just for the plus one body and spirit. It's not bad, especially if you use intimidation. I just don't. Chest number one. Viper's Wit. This is the first part of the Viper quest, which we're not going to be able to complete. This is the other quest for a style. We've got Iron Palm and Viper now, although it hasn't come up. It hasn't come up. But we do have the quest. A trap! We are on fire! How dare you! Just heal our focus. What's in here? Oh, Eye of the Viper. This is the first part of the quest. What we just picked up, the Viper's Wit, is a technique. I think it gives you charm and focus just a little bit. It's not that great, but it's a technique, that's what it is. We found one of the three scrolls of the Viper style and one of the three scrolls of the Iron Palm style but the Iron Palm is the only one we'll be able to get. Because you can only get one or the other. And now we can leave. What happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't choose to fight them. There was no real choice. I heard Gao yelling at them to kill any bandits who might approach. I guess they wouldn't stop to ask questions. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... 
Wait, do you hear something? They were his father's men. There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gao the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gao meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Li. So he kidnapped you so that you wouldn't get caught in the attack? It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students, everyone will need our help. Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. We have to do something. There might be survivors. This machine of Gauss, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. I just care if you can control it. We may be able to do it among the three of us. I was told that they are simple to control. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. <laughs> that helps. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I have already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Su. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Let's go. Agreed. There are greater things to worry about. I hope we are not too late. Now this leads us into the game's mini-game. It's Jade Empire Space Invaders. We have to hurry. I'm not a great fan, but when am I a fan of mini-games, really? Those large flyers can drop explosives. This is worse than I thought. This is the only time in the game when this isn't optional, though. The rest of the times you can skip it or just choose not to do it at all. So that's what I'll be doing. The town! This is the only time you will ever see this. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's a bit out of place with the rest of the game. And there we go. what I expected. I'm sorry you had to see this. I saw the smoke from the air, but I didn't think... 
didn't think it would be so bad. Everyone... Everyone is gone. Well, there has to be someone left. I hope you are right. Master Lee wouldn't let this happen. Not without a fight. Do what you can together. We will meet in the heart of your school. Very well. That Radiant Aura that we gained, that is our Flyer ability. Where are they? I can't remember, actually. Anyway, we've got it. We've got it. And come to think of it, there is one other time that I'll be doing the Flyer minigame. There is one more time, I believe. But other than that, it's completely optional. Bones and Old Ming. Old Ming is dead. We also leveled up. A balanced. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Five. Only five style points. We will end up getting more than that. I suppose I'll just put into the damage of Thousand Cuts. Yes, why not? Why the hell not? I shard, can I put anything to? Yes, I can. Um. Hmm. I'll go for the lower chi cost. I'll probably put that up there. Maybe. Maybe. It's barely worth it, to be honest. I won't be using it that much. No. It's all gone. Why did Gao's father do this? Why are his men here? I don't know. Sounds like it has something to do with Master Lee, though. I hate this. There's no challenge in killing simple peasants. They said no survivors, so there better be no survivors. I know, I know, but who is this for? Whoever's really giving the orders must be influential. Do you want to ask Al the Greater? No. So quit yapping and make sure there's no survivors. Looks like we have a few more peasants to put down. Let's just make it quick. Do I look like a peasant to you? Are you rude? Let me get into the freaking fight before you start hitting me, dudes. You've got a spear, just, just don't. So by the sounds of that, it sounds like Gal the Greater wasn't even given the orders. The school, burning. Every spring, I planted flowers, one for each student. Now everything, everyone is gone. Don't let it be true. Gal the Greater is just doing this on the orders of someone else, apparently. Now here we have Kia Min. Her existence here depends on whether you gave her the bearded tongue grass or the red silk grass. Keep going, there are others in the school. I'll look to the villagers and save as many as I can. Go! We gave her the red silk grass, so she won that fight. If you gave her the bearded tongue grass and she was injured, she would have died there. Oh god, this is terrible. Rip. What is this? We missed a couple of these pitiful students? This is like crushing ants. There's no end to you people. Ants, that's all their lives were to you? Why have you done this? Oh, the same question all the others asked. You'll get the same answer, too. Men! Gal the Greater wants this village cleared. Get the job done. Fighto! So we have a series of fights inside this arena. Two stages. A bunch of regular enemies first. 
just take them down pretty easily. Use the AoE to crowd control. Get your sword away from me. And then once you kill these, more will join straight away. Oh my god, stop it. Now, immediately, we're getting attacked and shocked by this dude, which is absolute bullshit. He is the boss of this area. And he's got a couple of freaking spears with him. Which is just rude, isn't it? Get... Use your freaking... Stop freaking fuck off. Okay? There we go. No, stop it. The freaking spears interrupt everything. Just go away so I can fight the boss, please. There we go. Let's use the long sword. Of course, you can't harmonic combo this guy because he is a boss. Jingwu, no! There were so many everywhere, and fire from the skies. We've chased off all of Gao's men. He'll be safe now. Why is your leg doing that? No, they came later. First there were fighters in black. With fists you could hardly see. She told them where to attack and they turned like... Like one mind. One purpose. Except... Except for the one. He stood alone. His armor so black. Black like a hole in the earth. So deep, you, you can't... can't get out. You'll be alright, just be still. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm sorry. Wu said... He said there was no warning. Just calm skies and then fire from above. He organized the students, but they were overrun. Master Li was taken when it began. He went without a fight, giving them what they wanted. But afterwards, the students... They were killed anyway. The Lotus Assassins. They leave no one alive to tell the tale. People fear the unknown. For Gao the Greater to have them as allies is troubling. The figure your friend spoke of is Death's Hand. The leader of the Lotus Assassins. This student was strong to live as long as he did. Why would they come here? Where did they take Master Li? The Lotus Assassins answered a death's hand alone. He would not appear unless this was important. He usually acts behind the scenes. I don't know why they were so intent on taking your Master Li, but they never attack without purpose. Maybe it's because Master Li is the Emperor's brother. At least that's why he told us. That's not possible. Sun Li, the glorious strategist, was the Emperor's brother and the head of the Imperial Army. Your Master Li cannot be him. Why not? Because he can't. Sun Li was declared a traitor to the Empire 20 years ago. The Emperor himself accused him of killing the third brother, Prince Qin. Maybe he was lying. And besides, the glorious strategist would not have made such mistakes. What mistakes? Revealing himself for one. For another, he would have known that giving himself up would not save your students. He had to try something. The glorious strategist would know his enemy, and if anything is true about Lotus assassins, 
It's that they don't leave survivors. I should know. I... I was one. Oh, damn. Interesting. That explains your unwillingness to come here. You recognized a familiar tactic. It doesn't matter. No, he is right to question me. I'm accustomed to such suspicion. I wasn't really questioning you. It doesn't matter. Whoever you are, whatever you were, you did not do this, and you do not have our master. We need... We need to decide what to do. When we know where we are going, when we have a plan, then we can talk about who knows what. Okay. Master Lee was training me for a journey. I should continue with that. I don't know anything about that. But I suppose I can try to point you in a productive direction. I'm sure that's what Master Lee would want. If you wish to pursue this, we should head to the heart of the Empire, the Imperial City. The Imperial City? Master Lee may have old friends that could help us. He may have old enemies, too. I suspect our true adversary is someone even more powerful than Gal the Greater. You know a lot. We will have to talk about the source of that knowledge. We already know the source of the knowledge. It's because he was a Lotus Assassin. And you said it doesn't matter. That's a nice way of saying we don't trust you. Make whatever judgment you wish. I assure you, I have already made worse. Let's go. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to go where I can actually make a difference. That is a very common desire. The hardest to achieve, but very common. Come, let's see if we can get Gao the Lesser's contraption in the air again. It won't be stable enough to get to the Imperial City, but we might reach the trading village of Tien's Landing. All trade routes lead to the heart of the Empire. Okay, sounds like a plan. If we are lucky, we can find someone to give us passage. If we're lucky. Or if we make our own luck. Now we have a choice, which we will have at several points during the game. We can either do the mini game or we can not do the mini game. So we're going to evade. It only makes sense that we would evade the enemy ships anyway, doesn't it really? Oh, hello. Yikes. We're all okay, thankfully. That was quite the crash. I wouldn't have left the marsh had I known we were headed for such a spectacular landing. It's a miracle we all survived unharmed. Uh, we did all survive, didn't we? Looks like it. I'm fine. Don't start. Are you okay? I'm okay too. A little shaken up is all. We were lucky. Only a fool braves the air currents without a proper wind map. You can't navigate the skies without them. Not safely, anyway. Why didn't you tell me that before? We weren't traveling far. I thought we could reach Tien's landing safely without one. Obviously, I was wrong. So where are we going to find a wind map of this region? We can't follow Master Lee's captors without one. Things are even worse than that. Look at our flyer. Even if we had a wind map, this thing wouldn't take to the air again. Very true. So we need a wind map and a flyer. <laughs> you make it sound so simple. Flyers and wind maps are rare things, even in the Imperial City. Out here, they're all but unknown. 
Gao and his pirates used flyers to attack two rivers, and the Lotus assassins who took Master Li had them too. Somebody around here must know something about them. Fair point. We'll find a way. I'm... I'm sorry to get upset, but every second we're stuck here, Master Li gets farther away from us. I understand. We're near Tien's Landing. It's a small village, but maybe someone there knows where we can find a new flyer. If nothing else, I remember a clearing suitable for a camp. And if we can't find a flyer, we can always follow on foot. To the south of the village is a forest. A trade route leads through it to the Imperial City. The village is across the bridge and beyond a large marker stone. Look for the giant rock with a painting of a fish on it, and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. And now we can choose Zoo or Dawnstar. Let's take Dawnstar. Very well. I'll wait here for now. It's not so different from the marsh, actually. More of an impending sense of doom. But that could just be your influence. We should get going. There has to be a better place for us to rest than this. Let's go.